Today's deep dive into Riedel smart panel integration with Skyhoy technology will be about how it works on the raw panel level. And uh, what I mean by that is uh, explained on this wiki page. On this wiki page from Skahoy, you see, um, you read about how the, the smart panel uh, works. Basically, you have either the one rack unit or two rack unit version smart panels connected to your network. And then you have any Skahoy device with blue pill technology inside. It could be this PVC Pro, or it could be a blue pill or anything else, blue pill server in this case, as long as it can run the X-Panel Regal Smart Panel application, which is a software conversion between NMOS and the raw panel protocol. And that's what this little graphic illustrates. On this page, you'll find information about how it all works, how to set it up, the simulation tools that will show you how it's gonna work, how to set up your smart panel with ports and NMOS enabled and all those nice things. So make sure you go and watch this page, read this page, and you can also read about um, the, the basic raw panel things that we are covering in in this video. So that's one thing. First of all, um, or secondly, I also want you to um, know that basically any Skahoy product, if you go to darkroomskahoy.com, you find images of all our products. This is uh, used for marketing, but it's also a nice uh, website to browse our products, the variations you get between them. These are all designed for you to, to basically build um, control systems by using a modular approach uh, for instance, some of our modules like this Master Key 48 is actually designed to be used as a module in a smart panel. You see the form factor here is, makes it really nice for integration into a larger context. So you find a lot of that on this page as well. So go study that, please. And then in the releases uh, section of our GitHub repository, we have this uh, Raw Panel Explorer repo, which you um, in the releases section, you can download a Mac, Windows or Linux version of a binary that can run a tool to explore raw panel functionality. And that's what we'll be doing today. So I just downloaded the ARM64 and it is now um, in, inside here. So I have open terminal. And uh, if I, I think maybe chmod plus x raw panel, I need to enable it for execution. So I'll do that and then Raw Panel Explorer. If I run it, then I'm okay. I got a chance to run it. Nice. Sometimes Mac wants for security concerns, all kinds of things to be done. But let's just disconnect from this. <clears throat> and then as you are seeing this uh, running here, you see that it is finding a ton of uh, blue pill devices on the network. One of them would be this one. Let me see which one is that. It's, uh, it's actually that. Yeah, I have raw panel disabled on this blue pill. But anyway, you have you see there's a bunch of blue pill raw panel products on the Skahoy network, which I'm on right now, but there are also these two real smart panel devices. So with the raw panel explorer, I can connect to the one rack unit smart panel here, and it comes up and shows us the topology of the panel. So already in this integration, we have designed it so that it's going to tell you what is possible on it. So for instance, if I press down this lever key, you see that there's indication of the activation of the different components on the panel. And over here on the trigger scope, you can see that as I'm repeatedly pressing this button, it is also repeatedly registering these. If I turn the encoder knob here, you also see encoder pulses coming in and out of the um, raw panel communication. And then if I select one of the buttons and I turn it on and I set a color, you see that I'm actually setting a background color on this one. So this is how I can um, send feedback back to the panel. And now on this one, these commands are down here. So you can send it as a JSON string if you wanted to do this. Um, let's just turn it off. Then I'll show you as the um, this is like the original way of, of doing this. If I open a new terminal and um, I think netcat, the IP address it had and the port number would probably be either this or the other one. Let me just check. No, it's not being set up here. All right, so let's just disconnect real quick and then see it is 64. All right, that, that was the one. Oops, and let's go back. Maybe if I connect in here, 64 like that. If I type list, then you see basically this is the ASCII version of the raw panel protocol. So again, if I press, if I turn encoders, I get triggers in here, super, super easy to work with. 
And if I paste in the string I just copied, you see that it actually is setting the color of the button that I want. Oh, wait. Actually, I was. No, it was not the complete. It was not the complete color that I wanted to set. So let's just go back here. Set on, set pink. And then I need to send full state. So it, this is like the full configuration that I can do. So now it's cleared out again. And for this one, if I go into the terminal and I paste this JSON code, you see it's turning on and is pink. If I want to know how I can set text, I can also set my title and I can set a text ring. Hello, like that. And it's now in the display. And if I wanted to do this myself, I just could copy this line and I could change this to 22. Let's just remove this real quick. So I turn it off and I remove this again like that. And then if I go back to the terminal here, you, you basically see that I was able to set this text. I hope some of these things made sense. The raw panel explorer is a great tool to explore raw panel devices in general and the real smart panels in particular would benefit from this where you can see the triggers coming in from these panels. You can also send feedback in return to them if you want to do integration work. But it's really the same for this or for any Skahoy panels. It works the same way that you have this um, the, the visual drawing of the panel and all the components on it. You can receive the triggers, you can send feedback and you can you can play with it and integrate it in your application. That's what raw panel is about. That is to make panels, either Skahoy panels like these that has it natively built in or Riedel smart panels, which has an con a conversion app that is facilitated by Skahoy technology. Raw panel makes all of these devices accessible in the exact same way which is really, really powerful and useful for integration. Actually, the real smart panels, in a sense, are already available. If you have the CPA, the control panel application enabled on them and paid a license for it, it's already available, but it's running on NMOS. So you would um, go to like, let me see, a URL like this one, and then you can browse into the whole NMOS universe. And this is basically all the complexity that we have taken away from you. So what you need to do if you want to integrate these using raw panel is basically to relate to a bunch of simple text strings on a TCP connection like this one. Very easy to integrate and using the whole tool chain that Skahoy has already developed around raw panel functionality. So thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to see more videos like this. We always have a lot in our pipeline that we are looking forward to push out to you.